Well, welcome everybody. First time doing a live stream and was actually just hanging out with some people in the Discord and just goofing off, <laughs> killing a bunch of ships in PvP to get love letters, to have fun. So just figured, why not? Let's just turn this whole thing into a massive live stream. Let's just do it. Why not? So, welcome as we do the first live stream. And um, yeah, but let's just get to it. So basically, as the title says, clearing non-miners and attack ships in the game, wherever I find them, mainly in mining systems. And we're just going to go through and get all the ones that we can and see what love letters we can get in response to these hits. And I'm, like I said, indiscriminate, anything that is anything, we're going to hit it. We're only going to hit non-miners. So we're not going to get anything, nothing that is currently mining. So I don't hear anybody talk about <laughs> we're clearing mining ships. We're clearing non-miners like this legionary just sitting in the middle of space for no reason with 40% health. It's going to die. And we're going to see if we get a love letter from it. It's going to be fun. What's up, Butterlight and Kamel? Welcome to the live stream, man. We're going to see if people really are about that pirate life. All right, there went that North Star that was just sitting there. I can't kill that uh, D3, so we're going to leave the D3 alone. We're going to be picky and choosy about what we can actually heal, uh, kill. So I can't kill Conda. Conda's too strong for me. Looks like we're going to move on to the next system. But no worries. We'll just warp on. Now, you know there's going to be almost nobody there, but we're going to go to Fast Off, and then we're going to work our way back over to uh, Afritalis and... Neil Willem. So, what's up, everybody? If y'all got questions, by the way, about anything here in the game in terms of mechanics, officer setups, things like that, go ahead and shoot them in as we do this and have fun. And I'm going to put up some of the love letters here in the background as we travel. If you haven't seen, this is one of my favorite ones I just did. I just wrote this up. So, <laughs> y'all get a good laugh out of that, hopefully, like I've been getting. The Discord's been getting a good laugh out of it, that's for sure. All right. Let's see. We haven't got one yet. Oh, you see, I've got all these so far. Many from, hey, uh, GL, Laromi, how y'all doing? Purple people of the year. I actually might be able to do that. Depending on which ship he has, I might be able to do that. So these are all the love letters we've gotten so far tonight. We're just going to keep collecting them. HK has been a big one. You said PPEs and Franchic. We might be able to swing that. Let's go take a look. Ooh, there's a couple of things in Franchic. Ooh, there's some juicy juice in Franchic. All right. Yeah, I can take him out. We can do that. Let's just let's go ahead and head back. Let's bring everybody back. Yeah, let's all come over here. We can take that baby out. It, it's going to be really close with the Mayflower, but if not, I'll finish it off with the D3. And I know he's going to say something. I wonder which is sitting on here. Is it the... All right, so it's North Star, and it's overprotected. Oh, we got some cargo, baby. We get some loot. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. See, so yeah, we're gonna clear that. We can take out this Voclus pretty easily. What? Why is Koth? What is this? What is this? What? People not been watching the videos. That's all it is. Camille says he tries to avoid the pirates. Look, man. I'm trying to do the world a favor. Guard ships are stupid. Attack ships don't belong in mining systems. If you got them in there, I'm going to take them out. That's all there is to it. We're going to have some fun. We're going to try to get... Let's see. We've done about... I've done about 700,000 in Power Destroyed. Let's go, let's shoot for 1.3 million more. Let's do a 2 million PD night. How about that? I think we can do it. And I've already got people mad at me. I'm enjoying the heck out of this. Uh, and I'm also hitting Apex, so if you see an Apex ship, Apex is being targeted because they're targeting one of my friends, so I'm supporting my friends. It's just going to be a fun night. A Tuesday, what is this, Wednesday night? Let's see, we're going to need some more Tritanium, so let's turn in that token. All right, so I'm going to wait for all my other ships to get here. Let's go ahead and um, get this out, man. Hey, Laromi, how you doing, fam? All right, let's see. Can we get it with the Mayflower? Oh, Mayflower's going to get it. Okay, so now we're going to take out this baby right here. Hold on. Let's use the D3 here, 
and put the legionary on that because that almost knocked out the mayflower the mayflower is on its last leg so we need to find something baby for the mayflower to take out i'm gonna take out these uh the kira that baby kira all right so we got some loot let's get up here now i see chris is going to come take that node All right, let's keep it going, guys. Unless they mess with your low levels. That's cool, too. Like, I get that. You know, and um, I'm going to hit everything that's in my range. And I'm also going to not avoid, unless it's just grossly overpowered, I'm going to try not to avoid ships that are stronger than me. Like, I, I think I can... Uh, we're going to get close. We're going to see if we can take out Child of the King here. With the D3. Battle Triangle. Battle Triangle. You actually get two triangles here because the D3 has the bonus against Romulans as well as the Interceptor 2 battleship bonus. You see, I took it out pretty handily there. Not a problem at all. There's a horizon. We're going to leave the horizon alone. There's a fortunate here for some reason. We'll leave the fortunate alone. Let's see. What else do we have here in the system? There's another horizon. All right. So we got a rogue here down with that ship. And then we will, I guess we'll go ahead and go through Klingon space since we're already here. It looks like that is all that's left of non-miners. So let's get everybody down here together so we can warp out at the same time. So what y'all doing out there, fams? What y'all doing out in STFC tonight? Are y'all having fun? Are y'all hanging out? What's going on? I know uh, Mad Max is hanging out with us. Maxon is there. She's being quiet. But everybody's welcome to hit it up in chat. I see y'all chatting. We got it on the second monitor. If y'all aren't playing on Bluestacks, that's how I play on PC. If any of you have ever wondered. See, so I got my Gorkon crew, Javade crew, and then the morale crew. So let's, uh, okay. Next system. Let's go here. About two minute flight. Playing on blue stacks and watching the debate. What's the debate on? What was, is there a debate? What's the debate on? Do I even want to know? Is it like something politics? Cause man, I'm here for Star Trek. I don't know if I could do the politics, man. Man, uh, I do. Every time the presidential debates come around, I try to do very participate in my local stuff, but nah. Getting to jump on your gas dailies and repairing to kill 34 hostiles. I just moved up to consort today on both my factions. So now I have to kill level 31 hostiles. And while I have the ships for it, man, it's definitely tougher than doing the 29s, which is what I was doing before. So... Max says, how, lo how loud do you want me to be? I said, extremely. Actually, I will jump in voice chat here. So anybody who's on my Discord, you can join with me in voice chat if you actually want to come in and talk a little bit. And if anybody joins the voice chat, I'll actually turn the music in the background off so that everybody can hear you talk. Please remember, we're not going to do anything naughty, so no, no crass language, but... The event is going to end here tomorrow. The store for the event stays open until Saturday 1. So that's going to be Saturday. Uh, let me give you an official time for that. That's Saturday. Mm, bonus refinery event ends today on the EU server. So it'll be tomorrow for the US server. And the event store closes at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time in saturday or on saturday on the 29th so that's when the store closes and the event ends tomorrow right around that same time so whenever you see the timer actually run out that's when it's going to be done finding a system that's 31s that spawn with the battle triangle yeah no i mean here's what i do this little wing system up here of kaisu is where i go so parka and limpo i think are my explorers I think Lloyd is one of my battleships. This is the system I go. I farm Romulans. There's usually a system somewhere that has all of the ones I need in all the branch. So. All right. So we got some stuff here. All right. Let's go ahead and get the D3 to work. We need a legionary to get to work. Anything else? We, we already passed some ships. Oh, there's Papa Bear from HK. We've already got a ton of love from HK today. So we'll have to see if we can get some more. We're going to go wake up Papa. 
Let's go wake up the Big Papa. I do know what the new event is. Because of the NDA and what I signed with Scopely, I can't say unless they give me express permission to say. Um, I will simply say that it's boring. <laughs> so that gives you the hint for my style of play, what I think about the new event. That's all I'm going to say on it. But that's okay because there's another big event coming out here soon that all you guys and gals will be able to participate in coming in the month of July. We are right around the corner from July. The key is, if you're not getting the ship spawning that you need, get a bigger friend to come in and kill the 32s. They will eventually spawn in. So I know that's annoying, but I've had to do that for some missions where I had to kill 34s and stuff, and I just got somebody to help clear out all the 35s. But that's the easiest way to do it. It's annoying, I understand, but that is the way you got to get it done. All right, is that everybody in this system? We got to move on to the next one. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they've built the mechanic for spawning of hostiles. You would think that like if a system was 31, it would just keep a, a balance where if you killed a 31, then another 31 spawned. But that's not how they do it. And it kind of like goes through this weird rotation. So if you ever run into a system where you need, you know, a 30 and you are only getting 32s, just get somebody to come in, kill the 32s, and eventually 30s will respawn in the void that's left. So Still putting around as level 13. Enjoy your time as a little as a level 13, uh, Rio. I'm serious. Enjoy the heck out of that time. Because honestly, it's it's expensive up here. It's fun. Like I'm having fun now. Sadly, I've yet to get a love letter in the 10 minutes since I started this video when I got a ton of love letters when I was doing this before the video. But well, we'll see. We're going to keep on clearing ships, and we'll see if anybody messages. You saw Papa was on, and he ran, and we got a couple of here. So we've got a couple for the Legionary to eat. Doesn't look like we have anything for the... Oh, okay, so there's some for the D3 to eat. We can eat that. Awesome. Okay, so we do have a couple of these, and there's another HK. HK is everywhere tonight. We'll see if, they, uh, if we get another love letter from HK. They've been giving us the most love letters. Your level 19, does the Race Towards 20 event run off? And it does. It seems to run about once a month. And I don't have an, a, you know, a hardcore schedule on that for you. But it is not a singular event. So much like the North Star event, the Jellyfish, those are things that they put in a constant circulation. So be on the lookout for it. And don't rush. Take your time at 19. Get everything maxed out. And definitely make sure that you're getting your Talop and your Fendra to at least tier six or your tourist, whichever one of the ones that you focus on, get those to tier six. You'll thank me later. Any idea on server swapping something that they're looking at, but there is not anything definite in terms of it's coming. So, you know, I know you guys and gals are always waiting for me to break some awesome news, but I can only tell you what they've told me. And that's, you know, it's being looked at all that great stuff. All black sheep's running away. It's being looked at, but that nothing is imminent at the moment. So we'll just have to wait and see. I do think that it hurts themselves because one thing about this game that's great is the community and the ability to build friendships. But you want to also be able to bring your friends in or bring your spouse or your significant other who's playing with you. And that's it. They don't come because they can't. You know, there's a guy on my server who, I mean, rolled so many different times to finally spawn an account for his girl to be able to play with him. And they, I think they've got to add that. I understand some of the reservations because you don't want it to just become this overpowered thing where level 30s are joining brand new servers. But you know, from the other, from the flip side of that, you, you've got to be able to add, you know, the ability for friends to play together because that's what's going to keep the community alive and keep the game going. All right, so we're gonna go up here and kill this Kira. And I think that's it, because there was another um, Voclus here. I don't know where it went. Maybe it ran away. There is a jellyfish there I could go kill. I mean, if I really want to kill a jellyfish. Let's go kill the jellyfish. Why not? We have a guy on your server that's been level 19 since the game started in November. What is he doing just sitting on... What is he doing? I would get bored. I would get bored. 
like I have a level 14 that I've created for the purpose of a training videos and stuff. And it's basically maxed out. I'm just doing refinery stuff. I couldn't imagine sitting there for seven months. All right, as soon as we get this jelly, we're going to move on to the next system. And we're going to keep on clearing until the ships die. And then we will heal up. And I want some love letters. Where are the dang love letters? This is annoying. All right, next system. We're going to move on to... Moringa has them. Moringa has nodes, right? Yep, they do. Is there any... Oh, my buddy, great stats. He's a really cool dude. We're going to see if we can go kill him. Zarkon. Yep, he has been level 14 for a very long time. And one of my good friends in the game, Krista, though, she's been level 14 for about the same time, but she's stockpiling three-star and maxing out researches. I mean, she, last month, had a research that I had not gotten in, like, level 26, which was her battleship repair, I think. So... You know, there's advantages of sitting there and maxing out because when she does decide to level, nobody's going to be able to touch her. But she's already got an 85,000 North Star at level 14. She's barely touchable now. Yeah, it's... I, I, don't, I don't see how people can just do that. I would be bored to death sitting there forever. But some people do it and enjoy it. Let's see where we're at now. So we're at 31 million already. We've gone up 600,000 just since we've been sitting here killing this PvP. Look, Great Stats is a really good dude. I like him. He's in my Discord. He's hilarious. I want to kill him. <laughs> What's so weird about that? People do that all the time. Who doesn't kill their friends in games all the time? Oh, there's a mission I can pick up? Oh, man. Let's see if I can take it out. If not, I got the Legionary. Is he going to win? Yeah, we got him. <laughs> we got him. Bye-bye. All right, what mission can I pick up here? Oh, snap. That's an easy one, too. I need every token I can get because I'm grinding for my Bordas. All right, what we got on this side? Nothing? Oh, there's Matt. Oh, snake. She's watching this. I got to be quick. She's literally watching the stream. I've got to be fast. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Get her. Get her. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Love you, Maxon. <laughs> oh, she's literally watching the stream in Discord. That's great. Let's see. Butterfly says he, he thinks he can understand why some people stay at 14. Nobody honestly likes having to manage their shields. I don't mind the shield management. I think a lot of it becomes more resource management, though. Just controlling your resource levels so that you don't always have to live under a shield 24-7 when you're not in the game. Yeah. yeah Maxi just blew me a kiss in Discord. That's that's hilarious. Rio, I, I get that. And if you're at the level that you say you are, 13, go ahead and re-roll. I mean, it, it won't kill you to re-roll now. Let's go kill Tiny Crusher. And then we'll get on to Anthra, our next system. And then we really got to repair because that Mayflower is about toast. So we'll go ahead and send the Mayflower home because I don't want to take an L for no reason. Ah, uh, looks like he warped out. Ah, that was smart of him. Okay, so let's go ahead and head to Anthra and start clearing there. Today you went up to level 20 after two months level 19 due to the stupid refinery. Well... Level 20 is level 20 is nice. Hey, Steve, welcome. This is actually the first time I've done the live stream on YouTube. Um, level 20 is actually really nice because it gives you a bit of a reprieve. So that, that 19 grind where you're doing the 300 uncommon uh, crystal, gas, ore, plus having to do it for ships and everything, that starts to actually go away at level 20. And you kind of restart over for grade three materials, which is really nice. Now the drawback is you start getting into the mid twenties and the high twenties and prices just skyrocket to insane levels. But in the low twenties, it's very nice to not have to just sit there and refine and mine, refine and mine all day. And when you're at level 20, a lot of your mining is actually stockpiling for when you need it later on, which is really nice. And then you finally get access to a tier three ship and everybody knows I think that the Kira is a really good ship. It is not amazing. 
but it's good. And especially if you are a player like free to play where you're going to sit at a level and not go up a level every couple of weeks. Because if you level fast, then no, the cure is not that valuable. But if you're sticking at 20, 21 for a while, the cure will be very valuable to you because you'll get into that tier five, tier six level and probably close to 100,000 if you're also doing your research and everything. All right, let's see. Do we even have anything in this system? Well, that's why you guys and gals keep coming back, man. I give the good advice. All right, so we do have a couple things here. What is this? Oh, it's a little envoy. So we can kill a <laughs> flog here. And I think that's it. There's that. Let's go ahead and start the repair on that. And hopefully get down to about 2.30 and it'll speed up. So we can kill two ships with the legionary. And that's it. There's nothing for the D3 to really pick on. But that's okay. We'll use the legionary because we need to level it up. Hey, Abdullah, how you doing, my friend? And Wamp, welcome to it. Which level is good to stick, 26 or 28? It really depends on you. It's a personal preference. So if you've gotten a Tier 1 faction ship at 26, I would say 26. Uh, 26 is also great because you get access to the Horizon, which really opens up the game for you in, in terms of not just mining, but base rating. And if you are a pirate and you are a raider, getting the Horizon is such a game breaker for you because you can just start going around to level 20 bases and level 19 bases that have got like 200,000 defense and one shotting them for instant 100,000 Tritanium. And that's what I was doing. And it was a great quick way to catch up and get the resources you needed to level. I would say if you are at 26 and you don't plan on getting a faction ship, then you do need to make the move to 28 because then you can actually get a Bordas or a Centurion or a Saladin. And honestly, after that point, I would sit. I'm going to be sitting at 28 for a long time unless Scopely wants me to move up for an event or something or a new ship that's coming out. I plan on sitting here at 28 for quite some time working on my Bordas. My Bordas, I'm at 30 shards out of 100. And then my Saladin... I am at, I believe, 53 of 100. So yeah, there is my Bordas at 30 of 100, and then Saladin at 53. So working on getting those two ships is going to take a while, and then getting them to at least tier 6 is going to take even longer. It says you're 12 blueprints from your next Horizon. I am 36 blueprints from my next Horizon, and man, I want it so bad. The Horizon is like the first time you got the Envoy, and I talked about it in a video. There is nothing more important in this game than your mining ships because you need them for raiding and you need them for mining and my horizon now with to has got a protected cargo of twenty four thousand. so i just sit out in nodes basically all day and bring it on back so we're going to kill spartacus here they're going to go to morska they're going to run back to the house real quick to repair and then we'll head back out oh man he killed himself come on man Ooh, ooh. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. D3 can kill something. Rush to 34 for the Enterprise. No, thank you. Abdullah says he's at level 16. How do you reset and start over? Uh, it depends. I know how to do it on Google. So simply how you do it on Google, you would uninstall the game and then desync the account. So the game is tied to your actual account which is your Google account. So you just make a new Google account, which most phones let you have multiple at a time. Make a new one and just apply that new one to it and then have at it and have fun. So, All right, so we got to kill another ship. Oh, there's another one down here. Look, they're just coming for me. They want to give me the kills. Well, we have power destroy. Going up another 100, 200,000. We're, we're going to get 2 million power destroyed tonight, fellas. Kim said in Discord that no one is safe. No. Nobody is safe. Friends are the first ones I target because I care about them the most. It's like in real life. When you like somebody, you mess with them. So that's what I do. I like everybody in this game because I mess with them. See if there's anything in Morska. If not, we're going to head back and repair. Any guard ships? Okay, no guard ships. So let's get back home and we will repair. Use these speed ups. I don't mind people seeing where I'm at because if y'all come for me, I'm going to pop a shield. I don't care. Ain't no fun if homies can't have none. <laughs> 
man, I can tell I'm going to really enjoy doing some live chats with everybody. And by the way, I'll go ahead and throw this out there. It's in the description. If you have not joined my Discord yet, my Discord is for my alliances, but it also has an entire general chat section. Y'all are more than welcome to join up. That way, if you have questions about the game, if you have particular video ideas that you want to see, you can submit that in the Discord. I just have to assign privileges for you. Message me when you get in and simply let me know what server you're from. Because if you're from my server, there's a certain set of privileges. And if you're from a different server, there's a different set. So just let me know when you get in and I'll get you all assigned and laid out. And then we're just going to do some repairs and see if we can get um. This is just irritating, man. I promise you. I'm not lying to you. I got so many love letters. So here's Smell My Finger. He got mad I hit his ship, and I told him, look, darnest thing. was trying to park next to you, and I hit the photon torpedo button when I meant to hit the automatic parallel parking feature, and then I killed a ship. And he says it's open season on my alliance, which really, good luck with that. Yeah, good luck. Uh, King Nemesis, server 24. Hey, man, if you join up, we got you. All right, so three people have joined up. Let's see. I'm going to give everybody the alternate role for right now. And you can just message me if you happen to be on my server and I'll fix it later because I'm obviously in a stream. Yeah, hey, great stash just said, yeah, tasty. Yeah, man, it's on video. I wish, I don't know why I said that. He can't hear it. So we'll read, uh, that's not a love letter. Here's your love letter. Why? Why? Why would you hit me? Why? Don't do that. Let's see. Here's another one. Why did you tag my ship? It was illegally parked. So was towed at your expense. And you guys and gals are out there more than welcome to use any of these lines as well. I encourage all of you, be pirates. Have fun in this game. Be pirates. All right, so let's get this repaired. Um, this is probably going to be my last batch because it's going to use up most of my speed ups. I can already feel it. I'll have to wait till 11 p.m. tonight to get some more. I love getting love letters, man. There's an entire channel in my Discord for love letters. It makes my day when there's a little bit of salt. All right, so let's use our 15, and then we'll use a 3. All right, so we got all of our ships back. Same here, Sean. Got a whole channel in my Discord just for it. Everybody who's joining up, welcome to the Discord. Y'all should be able to see the Katina, uh, Cantina once it gets all assigned. Where'd the music go? I need to put some stream music on. If nobody's going to join the voice Discord, I need to put some stream music on or something. Let's see if there's any ships here. This is going to be a little bit of a flight time, so I apologize. Yeah, it looks like some ships came back here. Okay, so we're going to head back here. Five minutes. What are we going to talk about for five minutes? Hmm. Okay, Randolph, thank you. I've got you with privileges. Oh, Maxon, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I am doing fantastic. Thank you so much for letting me kill you while you're watching the video. <laughs> you're welcome. At least this one was a, a cheaper repair. Yeah, poor uh, Great out there with his legionary I decided to take down. So. I tried to warn him, too. <laughs> he recalled the wrong dang ship. <laughs> That's good. That's awesome. Uh, Look, it's hilarious because of, I guess you guys have passed it around in AC, but every HK I fly around besides him has now jumped away as soon as they see me. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, we, we, let it, we let it be known that he's clearing so, or that you're clearing, so... And to be fair, I'm not clearing their miners, but if you park no. a attack ship, and I've made an entire video about it, it's the stupidest thing in the world. If you park a dang Kamari, I'm going to kill it. I know. <laughs> ah, so much fun. You need to come join me. Just start doing it with me. Come on. Oh, goodness. Uh, we've got a lot of allies. Uh, yeah, I know. That's so... uh, When I was looking for an alliance, I thought about HK because I have so many friends there. And then like, I, I went and checked the profile and... If I, if I can find an HK, I'll show everybody. There's like 15 naps. It's insane. You're allied with half the alliance, half the server. Yeah. Where is an HK? Person? I know. Where, is... well, where are you at? We mean where? Am and I you at? can find me. Oh, you trying I'm... to you trying to look for an HK person? Oh well, I actually just pulled up your combat log, so now everybody can see. So yeah, House of Kalos, which I love the name. I actually used to hate HK back in the day when it was run by a different lady. 
Uh, now, most of my, many of my friends are in HK, but look at all this. This is ridiculous. They have a mutual defense pack with Honor and HCE. Then they have non-aggression pack with BXF, June, JTAA, JESF. Never even heard of them. R R O T R, the Segway, the Segu, the Maku. Basically, everybody from like le- Alliance level twenty to fifty, y'all are allied with, and it's ridiculous. Yep. <laughs> Triple, if you're listening, stop. Just back out. Join the red shirts in the need to kill everything. Mm, you should join us, though. <laughs> Tell you what. Just go ahead. I will think Just about it ahead. if I can kill everybody. If I have to come in and play with 15 naps, I'm not doing it. No. Mm. Nope. Got to take that up with him. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to join, and then I'm purposely going to go hunt down every single one of your nap allies so that it pisses them mm. off, and we break up. It's a rough divorce. Uh. No, no. <laughs> Nap Ally? You don't even like How him. About we not name, name me 10 players from those alliances that you're friends with. Well, hold on. <laughs> no, you can't go looking for names. You can't be like, oh, I, I know Stinky Finger. No, name me 10 people right now. Oh, no, I can't name all 10. There Hell no, I can't. There you go. Proof that is pointless. If you're not even friends, what are you even doing together? <laughs> Wait, do you have a fish tank? I do. I hear it. Oh. Well, I can't turn it off. I'm not saying kill the fish. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I happen to hear the fish tank, and I was curious. Yeah, I'm not turning it off. You'll welcome, just have to get used to the trickling, trickling Abdullah sound of water. to the Discord. Uh, Camille, I can't talk about the hive mind stuff necessarily directly because of, like I said, the NDA that was signed with Scopely. And, and actually, they signed one as well and everything. Uh, but that said, um, there are variants being created now. There's one already out called the Cars. There are a couple of others actually being developed. And I will say that while I miss Hivemind as a great tool, it is good for more sources to hit the market, so to speak, uh, to have growth and to have more people working on this because I think that will improve the community. I hope that Hivemind and Nept and Farsight and everything reconcile the differences with the people that offended them. But, yeah, that's all I can really (laughs) say on that. Great people. Uh, I already killed this dude, and he came back with a guard ship. <sighs> people don't <laughs> learn, man. All right, we're going to kill this dude from Texas. And then we're going to go kill Synchronicity again. Oh, you have fun with that. Yeah, he's an IG, and I really enjoy messing with the big dogs. All right, so there's down... Oh, he's got two mines, too. <laughs> Bye-bye, Mayflower. You dead. Bye-bye. What else we got in here? Ooh, that's a pretty tough D3. We're going to leave that D3 alone. You know, it's funny, like, that the water almost sounds like you know, somebody going to the bathroom behind you, not necessarily a fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> Like well, here, let me turn my mic off in the meantime. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's like I'm listening to the girls' bathroom right now. Yeah, really. I took you into the bathroom with me. Hey, look, you are from Georgia, and South is a weird place. So. Yeah, but mm, I, I, I personally no, would not I do that. <laughs> I don't know. See, this is what's hilarious, because if, if any of you are new to my Discord... Max in here talks the loudest trash and the most references in Discord. But then you get here here in chat and voice, and she's all quiet and polite and not saying anything. Well, you said to keep it down. Well, I, I said to keep it PG-13. I didn't say come in <laughs> and be in love. Uh. All right, we'll mm. kill this D3 real quick with our Mayflower. <laughs> You know, most Hard of these ships that I'm killing PG aren't even your allies. You can just come in and start killing people. I don't even know if I've killed any of your allies. I don't 
Have any of the, those people even reached three star match yet? Aren't they all like level fourteen? Uh, no. Pretty sure they are. Pretty sure. No. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the <laughs> leaderboard and find those alliances. <laughs> Not all of them. We there okay. are some smaller ones. I'll say here's HK. But... Y'all are thirteen. Like I said, y'all are decent size, good power. Uh, Honor is nineteen. That's y'all's next strongest, I believe. Let's see. BXF, which that's where Lady K and General Weeble are. They're they're good people, but they're just a bunch of miners. Y'all y'all couldn't call them if there was a fight. Uh, who else was there? Um, Maku is number forty. Yeah, they're they're. Well, let's go look at these heavy hitters. <laughs> oh man, we got a one point seven miller. So their best guy is four hundred k weaker than me. So, and I am like one of the weaker people in red shirts, about halfway down the list. Yeah. So Camille says it sounds like somebody's waterboarding in the background. So apparently we've got some um, torture uh, yeah. fans out there. I am. You're, you're waterboarding or you're a fan of torture? Waterboarding. Okay. Definitely. So who are you waterboarding? That is a good question. I don't think I caught his name. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. That is uh, Maxon. <laughs> and apparently she enjoys waterboarding people. Ooh, the base is under attack from... Oh, it's my friend Kim. I wonder if Kim... Oh, Kim's going to hit me with a Tala. See, this is why you go and look first. So you don't waste a shield. Yeah, Kim just hit me with a Tala. Thank you, Kim. Thank you very much. <laughs> Awesome, now I have a shield. Let's see if it even damaged the Kamari that was there. Did it even get a shot off? It did not. It did not get a <laughs> shot off. You know what that means? One second. You're not going to hear it because you're in Discord, but it's time for the favorite meme of the show. You're dead right, mate. You're dead right, mate. I love right, mate. Yeah, that's right, mate. You're dead right, mate. You're dead right, mate. The top night, mate. You're dead right, mate. As for you, Kim, get wrecked, mate. Hope you enjoyed it. He went full screen for you. I full screen the meme. I never full screen the meme. That's just for you, Kim, because I love you. Thank you. It's like Mr. Randolph is here with us. How you doing, buddy? Do you... I'm doing good, dude. Hi, good, man. It's good to hear. It's nice to have people from different servers now just coming and enjoying the game. Yeah, thank you, uh... I go by King Nemesis on my server, I'm the leader of uh, our alliance, EGK, Underground King. I feel that, but I'm going to need you to embrace your inner pirate a little bit more. I, I could tell by how you were talking and what enough power in your voice. I'm going to need you to start killing people <laughs> for fun. You know, um, I had so many KOSs out on our server that I had to work to uh, have a lot of those removed. Because when we first started, that's what we did. So when you're saying this, when you first started, you were having fun, and then you stopped having fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. There, see, there it is. I'm trying to bring you back. This is what is going to keep you in the game for forever. Just running around killing Kumaris and then hopefully getting love letters, which I sadly have yet to get in like 30 minutes. Like I said before, you jinxed it. <laughs> I really did, and that's annoying. Because I got like seven of them, half of them from your alliance, Maxon, and then out of nowhere, yeah. they just stopped as soon as I decided to go live, which was, I think, your idea? Did, what did, you Probably. You me to, do, to go Sounds live? Sounds like it. Yeah, so I'm blaming you partly. Let's go kill Viking okay. and Romulus. Whatever makes you feel better. Well, can't talk about that on stream, so... <laughs> Oh, don't right, run away, right. Viking. Keep it PG-13. Come back, Viking. Yeah, you're going to die. Just go ahead and take it. Just take it. There you go. Now send me a love letter. 
Send me a love letter. Oh. You're begging for it now. Oh, no. I'm going to go hit an IA guy. Level 27 in IA, which for those who are watching from other servers, IA is the strongest group on our server, and they also have a sister alliance called IG, which is number six. So they have a combined power of 280 million, something like that. So picking on them is what most people don't do. I'm going to do it. Why not? I'm not scared. What's Behringer going to do? One shot my base again with his Enterprise? For the millionth time? Look, man, that Enterprise is no joke. I have to have all have four somebody. ships home to not get one shot by it. We had somebody two nights ago was the first one to get the Enterprise on our server. And then one of my alliance mates a uh, guy named Thor. How you doing, Thor? He just got his today. I'll tell you what, if Thor's got an Enterprise, then I know Thor's doing really well in life. So the first thing I want to do is congratulate Thor for his success in life. The second thing I want to do is say, hey, Thor, throw some money my way. I would like an Enterprise as well, but I will settle for a Bordis, <laughs> and I need a good $200 to get my Bordis. So hit me up, Thor. Appreciate it. God of Thunder, you're awesome. <laughs> I am not beneath begging for money. So we'll just go ahead and get that out of the way right now. Anybody out there wants to drop a super chat to buy Deuce a Bordas, you will get shouted out in every video for like the next month. Just FYI. You need marketing? If you got a business, we will promote your business. On the podcast with Panic, on the YouTube channel, you buy a Bordas, you get podcast. Whatever you want. If I send money to you in order for you to do that, at the beginning of your intros, I better hear my name on there throughout the whole thing. Oh, dude, yeah. It's going to be whatever fancy UGK music. Yeah, I don't care. It'll, people He's going to be singing it. Yeah, people ask why I change. I will dress up in a suit and sing it. I don't care. <laughs> Look, there is one truth in my life, and that is I will do basically anything for money. It's the whole reason this channel exists. So. Oh. <laughs> Oh, who's hitting my base now? Oh, from the back came and got me. Crap. Had to pop a shield real quick. Woo! Oh, mm. Sulu brought a Bordis. Oh, my goodness. They're all here. Hello, guys. <laughs> Woo! Hey. I'm going to go check in my game to see what's happening on mine. Yeah, I've, oh, got a, I've got a Gladius, a Centurion, a, <laughs> a Legionary, and then a Bordis now sitting next to my base. <laughs> for my age. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, so apparently I made some people mad. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm doing the right thing. Because now what I'm going to do oh. is I'm going to go tell everybody in my line and say, hey, IA is picking on me. Come help out. <laughs> uh, Get them all I in the chat here, too. I bet I know who did it, though. I bet it was Synchronicity because I killed his Mayflower twice. I bet that's who it was. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Eisenhorn asks, if someone were to buy a ship one time, what would be the best pack to go for? North Star or a faction ship? I would say the best bang for your buck is going to be a North Star. Uh, it's cheaper for one. And just as a ship, it's going to last you until about the low 30s if you continue to level it. Now, you're not going to use the North Star as a pure attack ship at level 30. The best North Star is going to be around 250. Some of them get a little bit stronger. But it's your, it becomes your best three-star miner. And it's a good enough attack ship to keep cracking bases in the high 20s and still be a competent fighter for weaker Kamaris and things like that. So if you were going to buy something, I would say the North Star. If you have a little extra pocket change, then I would save up and you know use that type of money on officer packs or for the rares that you will need once you get to like tier five on the Bordas and the Saladins and things like that, uh, because that really becomes a bottleneck because of the refinery. So in terms of recommending where to spend your money, that's where I would throw it. There are five IA ships nearby. And, um, yeah, we're going to see if any of my people can come by because I would like to continue killing things. And I can't do that if there's five <laughs> ships camping my base. 
Mm. Yeah. But see, now we'll wait. Let's see. So three level 34 ships, a 39, and a 28. Thanks, Obama. I'm sure he says you're welcome. Let's see. Sanchez what says, well do done. Good morning. What was that? I was going to say, what you do is you warp to the system adjacent of you come in at the corner. Yeah. And then attack them. Yeah. The problem is it's six minutes away. I'm on the complete other <laughs> side of the map. <laughs> and even then, I can't kill but like one of these ships. Like, Captain Sulu's Bordis is 930,000. I'm, I'm not killing that. Um, the Centurion is 700,000. I'm not killing that. The Legionary is 645. If my D3 was repaired, I might be able to beat it. The Gladius is 540. I'm not killing that. And I can kill the Kamari at 300k. So I can kill one of the five ships. Honestly, what I would do if I could get my ships home, I would just warp out to another system and then go about and rejoin all the hilarity. <laughs> you know what? That's what we might do. We might sneak around and see if we can get our ships home. And then we will um, warp away so that we can go kill stuff. Hey, there's a salad in here, too. So, yeah, IG and IA have apparently shared cords. So we're going to see if we can sneak everything home. Problem is, I'm like 30 seconds from the edge. <laughs> this is going to be close. Hopefully, they're not paying attention. Sulu is warping out his borders. That's a good sign. I was going to tell you to hop into your realtor with a uh, claw and just drive around, make them mad. Yeah, um, the problem is I'd have to repair the Kumari, and that's going to use some of my last speed ups, and I still want to kill things, man. We had the goal of hitting 2 million power destroyed tonight, and I'm about 300,000 away. I am ranked number 40 in our power destroyed charts now. When I started, when I rejoined Red Church last week, I was 56. So I've moved up 16 spots in less than a week. Just part of the horizon. See, that's the thing. I've moved up 16 spots and I haven't killed miners. That's what makes me a special pirate. I'm a pirate with a heart. I'll wait for you to actually have loot in your miner before I kill it. He's after that booty. Oh, man. God knew what he was doing when he invented booty of all kinds. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Preach it, sister. Mm, not sure that applies, but sure, we'll go with it. Let's see. So we are five minutes from home on most of our ships. Um, did everybody warp out? Looks like they left. Yeah, most of them have left. There's two sitting on a planet. Nope, from the back. There's five of them sitting on the mission planets, which for those listening out there who don't know, you used to be able to hide under mines. You still can hide in mission planets. Oh, man. I wonder If they're watching the stream, they can stream snipe because it looks like from the back is parking right on the trail. <laughs> He's parking right on the trail from where my ships are going to be. Oh, so that makes it even harder. Now I'm getting stream sniped. It's like I'm playing Fortnite <laughs> or something. I feel oh, like Ninja. yeah, he's got to be watching. He's got to be. Which, shout out to FTB. We see you, buddy, and we love you. Um, well, dang, now I'm going to have to do something to... Or I'm just going to have to lose a ship, which I can lose one of those ships. And it's not that big a deal. Uh, if he gets all three of them... We're definitely up a creek without a paddle. <laughs> hmm. You gotta use some special tactics when you're live stream. You really don't think about that, like when you go out and pirate a PvP because nobody can see what you're doing. Now everybody can see what I'm doing. So it's um Yeah. Yeah, he's moving his ships. He's got all three ready. So what are we going to do? Hmm. This is going to be a tough one. I can delay his attacks by hitting hostiles, but that's still not going to close the gap. And there's not a system to the left, right, or beneath that I could use a different warp conduit. 
Well, this really <laughs> sucks. <laughs> I am trapped. Hmm. Well, I got three minutes to come up with a plan. Because I can't do anything against these three ships. Unless you hit warp as soon as you hit in the system. Yeah, I can warp back that's out, no problem. Say, but that's not going to get me back to my base. Say. No. The point was to get back to the a, base that we could warp term. out. Yeah, I mean, I can do that. I, I can do that, and I can just go farm and enter our Morska again and you know, let them hit my base. Because as long as they don't have a horizon, I don't really care if they hit it. I mean, if they take 50,000 dilithium, it's not a big deal. Because <laughs> I haven't even repaired it from when he hit me the last time. But if there's a horizon there, uh, I don't want to fool with it. And there's an incoming 530 Mayflower. Ooh, that's some serious money to get a Mayflower to 500k, man. That's some serious money. Whew. My goodness. Because I Wait, know man. what it costs. Because my D3 is a tier 7. You need 35, 34 million Tritanium, 750,000 Dilithium, and 111 combined rares for one weapon upgrade. Oh, I want to know what they do for a living. <laughs> yeah, and my best pack. So, like, if I was to say pay for that in packs, let's say, board people. Yeah, 12, 12 <laughs> rares is usually the best that I can really find in terms of rares in a pack. So then you're talking about them buying like 10 packs to upgrade one daggum part. That's insane. Man. You know, I will say that those monthly specials, they are uh, a good bang for your buck mm -hmm. for the amount of time that you give them. I have gotten uh, so many upgrades off of the the uh, uncommon mats from there just forgetting about that okay i need five more to go mm -hmm. the refineries on cooldown oh man i forgot i can get this and I, i've got them that way Ooh, another ig I, i'm gonna kill this one as soon as i warp in ah oh, he moved dang man they got the whole dang alliance coming to the base jeez Yeah, well, see, Butter, when I chose this system, I wasn't thinking about that at the time. Like, I really wasn't worried about um, PvPing or ticking off IG and IA. This was a spur of the moment thing I just decided to do. So, let's see, as soon as I get all three ships in, they're not coming yet. All right, now we're playing this big game of chicken. What's going on here? Oh, man. What to do, what to do. Look, look at all these ships they got sitting on the planet. There's at least three or four of them. Oh, okay, so here they come. Warp out. All right, so I don't know. I, I, I'm i kind of stuck, man. I was going to say hit a base. Well, hitting a base isn't really going to help me. All it's going to do is well, drop my shield. Stall the, well, it would stall them when they were trying to attack. IA has got 140-something members. From the back, it's not going to leave just because I go hit a base. And that's a good point, Butter. They might be in the next system waiting for me, so let me go check this out. And they are not here, but there are some ships here for me to kill. So I'm going to go park next to ships I can kill. I'm going to kill my ships, and then I'm going to pop another shield real quick. You know, that's also a thought, too. What if I let him take my shield... And then he's going to use those three ships to get loot. And he has to warp home with it. And then maybe I can get home there. So I'd sacrifice a good 120,000 dilithium. But I could get back home and move my base. That might work. But are you willing to sacrifice it? Yes. yes. Okay. I mean... Resources aren't a problem for me. So. 
Obviously. We're going to do this. Yep. So he's hitting the base. Now I'll see if he warps out with it. Because I haven't repaired any ships. Hmm. All right, he's not that leaving. Looks like it hurt. I mean, it's no big deal. I could probably kill the legionary if I repaired, but well, this is a pickle. <laughs> yeah, Mike, they're definitely stream sniping, which I don't mind. It's fun. This is a it's an added layer of tactics I've never had to do before. Yeah, because there's Buck trying to hit me. All right, so we're going <laughs> to... Yeah, and I just lost the Legionary. So we can get a shield back up. Which, that's cool. If I have to sacrifice all three ships, I can. I said, I, I can... The resources to repair them is not a big deal. Yeah, Michael, I've thought about that. I just, like... The main thing is the speed ups it's going to take because the D3 is a five hour repair. And I don't know if I have. I don't know if I have enough speed ups to really repair all three and then re jump. And if they're stream sniping, then they'll simply see where I jump. So that that's the pickle that I'm in is I could sacrifice. But is that going to really help me out here? That's just the nature of playing the game, man. But I would like to get 150,000 more power destroyed. That's that's really all I need, and I'm good for the night. I'll hit 32 million, and I'll be good. I got to reload the game real quick because Galaxy Chat's not working, and Alliance Chat's not working because Scopely. <laughs> Do you have that problem with your helps also? Yep, I have to reboot generally two or three times a day. Sometimes it's better than others, sometimes it's worse than others. There's been days where like it would actually crash every few minutes, and I couldn't even really play. Some days it doesn't have that problem at all. I don't know what's – I know it's a sync issue because I've talked to them before and how the servers actually sync together, but or how I actually use sync to the server. Oh. Well, dang it. Look at this. Look at all these love letters I've gotten this whole time, and stupid game wouldn't show them. I hate this game. I hate it. Don't you just love that, though? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought I wasn't getting anything. Uh, turns out you just had to yes, restart. Yes, it was stupid scopely this whole time. <laughs> oh my, okay, so let's just go ahead and go through these. So, Maku says, so how long before you come back and kill my miner? I don't hit miners, so we're just going, I'm just going to respond to all these because I love the people. I'm here for the people. <laughs> IV88 wants a shout-out for IG and I, IA, so shout-out IG and IA. They're literally at my base right now. You can't ignore them. They're there. Shout-out. Uh, man, this sucks. <laughs> I really thought that we weren't getting anything. Um, let's see. So why did you hit me? i got to think of a good reason this time. Because you were there. <laughs> Go through some more of these messages. Yeah, I've got 20 daggum love letters. 20 of them! I hate this game. So I hate you, it so much. I, like, I love it passionately, and I hate out. it. All right. <laughs> so PPE sent me like five messages an hour ago. It says, I guess we're going to KOS each other. Good luck mining. Actually, my bad. I was showing resources. I thought I was empty. Good hit. And then he comes back to my base. Oh, man, that's funny. Gosh, I hate this, man. This is so annoying. Papa Bear just sent a question mark. We'll worry about him later. Vaughn, this is a good one. I like this one from Vaughn. He says, did you decide my bank account was too large by approximately 30 latinum? <laughs> uh, you broke up. I didn't hear it, but it broke up. Yeah, it'll be in the, uh, you, you see in the stream, it's going to be in the background. I'm going to make up a rule of acquisition.
I just made up a rule of acquisition. Y'all can quote that forever. Man. I feel so bad that I've ignored these for like forever now. Well, at oh. least you didn't get attacked while it tried to uh, respond to them. Like yeah. I did. Here's King Spartacus has said, nice to see your free stuff for stupid, no good reason. Nice to see you use your free stuff for no good reason. All warships are fair game. All of them. Why do people not get this? If you have an attack ship, there's literally no server has a rule of engagement that says don't hit warships. It's not a thing. All right, so Romula said that you're not AA. I responded by saying that I am Groot. Um, that, that was a good one. <laughs> this is funny. All right, so Rogue. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh, Rogue. <laughs> he meant to put this in Alliance chat. He wants to know what's going on with first. That's hilarious. Um. Let's see if we can get some more. The H H wants to know how I got the ships already, and I told them through the welfare system. They should apply. <laughs> All right, so my ships have now made it to Enthra. And let's see. Let's let's check our home. Let's see if we've still got people sitting at home. Yep, they're still from the back, <laughs> sitting there with three ships. A tiny crusher with a ship. Let's see. Ooh, what's over here? Two fed ships. Can I kill this big Bordis? Yes, we're going to kill this big Bordis. I don't think we can kill the D3, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Yes. Oh, the Bordas killed the D3, and the Mayflower died. So didn't get either one of them. But good news is we can relocate now. Now the question is, where do we want to relocate? Hmm. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the screen off for a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to pick a system, and then you guys are not going to see that system again. <laughs> I'm not showing y'all where I'm living. <laughs> and but that sounds like a much smarter move. <laughs> much smarter move, yes. Good idea, Deuce. Should have thought about the first time. So, to prevent stream sniping, we're going to relocate, and then we're going to repair what ships we can and go back to killing and we're going to make sure that the place that I pick is right next to a warp conduit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this uh, stay near Number the one. edge of a system. Yes. And that's like such a one-on-one thing that like I should have to quit my – I should give up my Scopely ships and I should give up my account and my YouTube channel for making such a stupid mistake. But oh, well. Let's uh, see. We can afford to do that one time. Ooh, we're running low on the speed ups. We might not be able to even repair the D3. Let's see, use these. So we got the Mayflower back. Let's get the Legionary. Man, I'm out of Latinum now. Let's see, four. So that's two hours worth. Hour 15. Sweet baby Jesus. I am out of so many speed-ups. Okay. 
So I'm down to two. I cannot do the D3, but I got the Mayflower and the Legionary back. And we're going to head back to a system and see if we can get some more killing going. We've got, we only need 200,000 more to make the, the daily of what we want to do. Our self-instructed daily. All right. So now you guys can't see where I live. Um, Michael says, have Scopely send us speed ups. Um, you know, yeah. they, they probably would, but Scopely's not available at 10 p.m. at night. I don't, I, there's not like a universal Scopely bank I can just ring up real quick and say, hey, send Deuce a thousand one hour speed ups. It's not like I know in everybody's head, Deuce has just got like an unlimited amount of everything and he can just play with. That's not how it works. <laughs> I have to actually email what I need and I have to email a legitimate reason for why I need the things. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, there's a system, people. It's not just a, a bank for Deuce to just pull out whenever he wants. I'm not a dev. I can't type in a code. <laughs> okay, so y'all should be able to see the stream back if y'all are just looking at a blank screen. And now we can um, try our best to get 200,000 more before we die. Ooh, there's a taco. I can't kill a taco. Dang it. <gasps> Behringer's on a node. Do I dare kill him? No, he's empty. I'm not going to kill an empty miner. I'm going to reload the game, though, because I'm pretty sure the chat died again. I don't know what you people are doing, but y'all are killing my chat. Don't you blame it. Oh, I'm definitely blaming you, Maxon. Everything bad happened when you joined. I was getting oh, plenty of things. <laughs> this, this was your idea. You wanted the live stream. You wanted the PvP. And it was all going just great before the live stream. Oh, well. If I was on your server, I'd definitely join in that PvP with you. Ooh. I got um, I forgot that when I reload, it reloads in my home system. So I got to reboot real quick. One second, everybody. Look at the back screen. Enjoy the back screen. <laughs> Mm. Okay. I think I think I'll actually be content with this game when they give us the ability to switch officers on the fly. That would be a great addition that I think 10 million people have asked for. Exactly. The ability to switch officers on the fly uh, that are already on the ship, it makes no sense that you can't do that now. Uh, I mean, that's... Mm -hmm. To me, it's a no-brainer, but... Hey, William Cash, what's up, man? William Cash, that name is familiar. I'm, I, I think that's I think that's FTB. I think that's FTB. Now he's complaining that I hit a North Star. North Stars are not miners, and nobody considers them miners. Get out of here. Y'all go cry to somebody. Else. They've got protected cargo of like 127. Get out of here. According to Deuce's own uh, videos, <laughs> yeah, I'm I, using my North Star. It's the best miner. And now he says it's not a miner. <laughs> <laughs> Von West had a good reply to my rule of acquisition. He says that he follows the Von West rules of drinkquisition. They're similar to the rules of acquisition, except involve a lot of booze and Orion women. Von, Von's a good dude. Fun story. Von West is actually the first person to drain my base when I was like level 17, level 16. Any tips for for regarding the augment faction grind? Yeah, I talked about this in a video before. The key to the augment space is the deeper into augment space you go, the larger and faster the mining is. So you get to the Dakota data, you get to the very last system, my uh, Botany Bay is doing like 20-something, 30-something thousand an hour. So the deeper you go, the more you can get and the faster you can get it. That's the secret. All right, so we're going to go kill this dude named Bon Jovi. Who even listens to Bon Jovi in 2019? My wife does. <laughs> okay, well, there's somebody because you managed to <laughs> rattle it off real fast. Oh, uh, she'll tell you that's her her favorite group. <laughs> really, Bon Jovi. Yeah. Okay. Bon Jovi. 
She knows every last one of them by heart, all the songs. I get so sick and tired of hearing it. <laughs> Living on a prayer, baby. We're halfway there. That's the song I sing whenever I fly and I'm coming back home. William's asking where I poured my basement. I, like I said, I'm pretty sure Will is FTB, and I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not saying. Oh, my goodness. Chris says that his body babe mines over 90,000 an hour and yarda. Yeah, that's that's the key, though. Getting your botany bay leveled up and getting it deeper into the systems, that's how you're going to get your best mining and best refining and everything done in augment space. And you're going to want to do that because augment stuff is not going away. There's more and more augment stuff planned. So keep that in mind. You're going to want to continue to focus on that stuff. I'm telling you. Yeah, you mine 61,000 at level 15. Yeah. So keep on doing it, man. Save up that stuff. You're going to be using it. But it's so sad because I sit on a, on a node to mine it, and I've already hit my protective cap mm -hmm. in, a, in a session of mining it. And we have vultures on our server. I mean, they, they sit there and watch you with their 400K uh, horizons and antares. And, I mean, it, it's like they know as soon as they hit it because they, they see your level, and they're like, okay, his protected amount is 36K. Yeah. And then, bam, they're right on you. Yeah, I mean, I, I usually wait, especially in augment space. I want to get at least 10, 15,000 because of how fast those things mine. So if something goes over, I usually just sit there and wait 10, 15 minutes. But, you know, truth is, if you're over, you're over. If you're over by one, yeah. then you're over. So. All right, let's see. We've only got, I think, about 100,000 more now that we need, and we will be done. We'll get, have gotten our goal. Yep, we're at 31.979. I wanted to get to 32 million, so one kill should take us there. We're going to basically kill until they either find the base. Oh, I don't know if you've seen this. Our alliance has basically taken over Neil Willen. Almost the entire thing is all of our nodes. It's insane. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to find a ship here. This is this is crazy. We have all the nodes in this system. That's awesome. Chris says that he they don't hit active miners on your look. I hit an active miner as long as it's overprotected. I don't hit miners that are just miners. So envoys, horizons, fortunates, all those are safe. Uh, Botany bays, I leave them alone. Uh, North stars. Most ROEs don't even consider North Stars as a miner because of the protected cargo limits. And so I'll hit a North Star if I'm really feeling the, in the PvP mood and like I am tonight. But generally, I just go out looking for attack ships. That's my thing. And, you know, a lot of people say that if you want to get power destroyed, you just go clear a system. And my argument is, well, watch what I did tonight. I've gotten 2 million power destroyed without targeting miners. Just go after attack ships and have fun. And gotten a crap ton of love letters that we missed for about an hour because Scopely's game is broken. <laughs> okay, so we're going to warp over here. Two minute flight time. Heading over to Priya. And there is a ship there we can take on. There is a Kumari. That should knock us over 32 million. There is a Voclis. And I think that's it. Because I cleared this like 45 minutes ago. Oh, there's a bunch of them over here. Ah, I don't know if I can take that. I've already injured my ship. We'll see. We will see. Hope you guys have enjoyed. This is the first time I've done a live stream on YouTube. Hope y'all are having fun. This is this is new. This is great, man. This is great. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. It'd be more fun if you would have joined in, Max. And like, if I can get everybody on voice chat and we live stream just like 10 random alliances killing things for fun, that will be awesome. <laughs> yeah that little laughter i'm gonna need you to actually do it yeah chris everybody's welcome in the voice chat as long as you keep it pg pg 13 ish and you can speak coherently so i mean if you're drunk or something no but yeah come on in and you share the waterboarding experience with us oh man this dude from rogue is so salty I'm telling him to say hi to YouTube. <laughs> oh, that's great. 
Welcome to the party. Greetings. Welcome, Aussie friend. Greetings from Down Under. Greetings. <laughs> Please tell me. Oh, by the way, you need to mute um, your background because it's feeding back in. But, um,. Please tell me your name is Captain Kangaroo in the game. Please tell Please me. Please tell me. Oh, by the way, you need to mute uh, your background. Uh, but, um, please tell me your name is Captain Kangaroo in the game. Oh, it's so laggy. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> it's officer feeding back, and then it's just it's creating a loop. It's just feeding back on itself over and over and over again. Yep. There we go. He... He turned it off. He's going to fix it, and then he'll come back in, which is fine. What's up, Deuce? Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Good, good. How you doing today, man? I am okay. I am um, essentially. I've created my own daily event where I am trying to get two million power destroyed, and I'm like twelve thousand away. And I've gotten stream sniped, which was hilarious. And uh, I have used all my speed ups to the point that I've only got two ships left, and I can't repair anything else. Jesus, dude. Oh, it's been a great night. It's been a fantastic past two hours. I've been streaming for about the past hour. So. Yeah, I caught the last ten minutes of it. Yeah, we were. I was trying to get love letters this whole time, and apparently I was. But thanks to Scopely, we didn't see them until I rebooted the game. So that's well, love letters are awesome. I, I dealt I dealt with that the other night when I did my live stream. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's, know, that's an is, entire right? reason to do a stream is to get love letters. That's you know who this is, right? Yeah, it's no one. Sweet. I didn't. Oh, you have it pulled up on another monitor. Huh? Yeah, of course, man. I'm, I'm a tech guy. Of course, I've got two monitors. At How work, many? I have four monitors. Okay, yeah, me beat. I have three right now. Yeah, so I mean, we, we do it real. And it, there's actually, I'm on a gaming computer, and then right next to me is another gaming computer that's not even being used for the wife. So, yeah, I mean, I wish I could get her on this game. This is just not her style. If it was Watch Dogs, she'd be playing with me or something. But uh, Yeah, they need server invites for this one. So you can get your friends on to that exact server. Well, that's another thing. Like, I, I created a second account for the training videos, and I rolled it until I got it on this server, and it took two weeks for me to get it on here. It was nuts. Jeez. What uh, graphics card are you running? Uh, I am running a, a 960 right now. I really don't need anything right, I got a, more than that. A G, I have a GTX 1070. It helps for your encoding for your streaming. But even then, it's like I, I have no issues at all. None. Yeah, are you running the Envy codec, the new one? Mm-hmm. Good, good. Yeah, my GPU is sitting at 17%. My core temps are at like 50. Yeah, it's BlueStacks. I know BlueStacks is a hog, but it's not a hog. Like most of the games I play are like Total War and stuff, like the stuff I don't stream or make videos about. Those are much more graphic intensive. This, man, you could play this without a graphics card. Oh, no, but it helps a lot when you have the GPU functionality. Yeah, I I'll agree. Because it has that high, low, and every other setting you can think of. But you can't set it yourself either. Yeah, let's I have see. to stick to playing on my, on my iPad because I can't put it on my Mac. Oh, man, we're getting love in the global chat now, too. Hey, Toxinated, how you doing? Tox has got, like, Tox really hates me <coughs> in-game. Like, hardcore. You know the best thing to do when somebody dislikes you in-game? Send them love, man. <laughs> Just send them love. No, it's not respond to them because it makes them more angrier. All right, I'm not letting you have this node level 14. Go away. No, you cannot oh, have this. You put your guy there. <laughs> now, I did. No, sir. I'm glad you're... No. Your stream delay is not horrible, at least. It's like a five-second, millisecond delay. It's not horrible at all. Yeah, I'm using Streamlabs for this. Typically, I use OBS. I'm using Streamlabs for this. No, uh, Slobs is better and all around because you have all that functionality built into it. Yeah, I like OBS, but that's also what I started on, so it's... Same here. Well, Slobs is not when I first started streaming. But I have a setup where OBS basically runs my other YouTube channel, which does all my football stuff, and then I use Slobs for this. Ah. Well, Slobs doesn't give you the option like OBS does. Here, I'll give Behringer this node. See, I can be a nice guy. Oh, okay, good. He got, did he just get off of it? I was trying to get him the node. <laughs> Dang it, Behringer. You kill me with a horizon. <laughs> Whatever, man. Go for it. I was trying to give him the node. And that's going to be it. But we did hit the 32 million mark. Right at. We're at 32.5.
So we've now moved up into the top 40 of Power Destroyed on the server. So goal has been met. Me beat. Yeah, 32 million Power Destroyed now. That's quite the jump from where we were at last week. You're going to make me look now. I'm 42 on mine. Let's see. We'll go ahead and use... Go ahead and start repairs because we are out of speed ups and we'll just have to get some more when we do our dailies. But yeah, man, goal achieved is pretty awesome. Let's see. You ever buy Carol yet? No, I'm not buying Carol. Look, man. <laughs> if there's somebody out there that wants to give Scopely $200 for a single officer, I'm not going to be mad at you. I've said it before. I don't care how people spend their money. It's your money. Do whatever the heck you want with it. I will be a doggone crazy man before I give $200 for a single officer in this game. I'm sorry. Okay, what do you think of that pack they just released, a $100 one? The one where you can only get Marcus and those other ones. The Epic... Now, I'll say the Epic Ultra Pack... Twice the time. I will say the Epic Ultra Pack for what you can get has value compared to other packs. But that's also okay. like a compared to other packs type of an argument. Yeah. What was it? How many can you get for that one set of pack? How many officers in all technicality? So you get 8,300 tokens. And Which then, is equal to. Yeah, I'm going over there to look. I think that's three pulls. Let me go see. So you don't have a chance of getting uh, okay, Marcus on, or any on. of them. Hold on one second. We're going to bust out our, our handy dandy. Calculator. Okay, uh, Rev Deuce, it's a pleasure speaking with you. You also, Maxim. I got to go and get the kids something to eat. Oh, I feel that. And uh, hop in game and finish my uh, dailies as soon as they start here in about 30 minutes. Well, hey, Nemesis, I've really enjoyed you hanging out with us, man. It's been cool. Hey, anytime. We'll try to do this more often. This live stream has been a ton of fun. So even though I got wrecked by from the back like eight times on my base. <laughs> So you should play that. You should play that <laughs> meme right now for yourself. Yeah, you know what? We're going to for myself. For all IA and IG You're watching. Dead right, mate. There you go. This is for me. You're dead right, mate. I love right, mate. Yeah. That's right, mate. You dead right, mate. You dead right, mate. <laughs> Top night, mate. <laughs> Yeah, right, All right, you guys have a good one. Good night. You as well. Good morning. Yeah, so to answer the question on the Epic uh, Recruit, now, it's a 10 chance, so a times 10 for each single one, uh, the best being Marcus and Carol Kahn of the three. Uh, you can do five pulls of two chest, so that would be 10 chests total. So if you hit one every single time, then yes, in theory, that you could get an officer, or if you got the ultra rare times 100 pulls, you could get one of those officers, but you get 10 pulls. So in terms of value, like if you were to compare it to a normal officer pack, that's actually really good. So I know we like to, you know, hate on Scopely for their packs and the pricing and stuff, but for what that is, I, I can't really gripe too much. You get 10 pulls and only epics. That's a really good value. If you're willing to spend a hundred dollars on officers. I don't think I have. Oh, I have con of mine. Yeah. I don't know. There's only two good officers out of it. Unless you don't have con. Well, I, I think they're all good, though, because who doesn't need to continue to upgrade their Gorkon and their... No, current, yeah, that's true, hero? but if, if you're looking for, like, Marcus or Carol or Khan or, like, King or mm -hmm. Mitchell, then I don't think the pack's that much worth it, because there's only the officers you can really want, because Marcus is going to be your best bet out of that whole pack. I don't know. Carol is really nice. It, it really depends on how much you want to get into the yeah, I have Carol. auxiliary crews and stuff. So I want to have Carol and Keensner and everything, and I want to try an actual full-on base defense setup, mainly because I'm going against guys like Behringer, who's got a you know one million Enterprise. So anything I can do to lessen that blow, oh. I want to lessen. Watch, not to bust the ears. Watch my live stream from like two days ago. You'll mm -hmm. see three Enterprises hitting my base while I have Carol in it. So you're saying I need Carol now? <laughs> oh, dude, I, she's worth it. This Enterprise is almost close to max. Yeah. So, it was I mean, one hit and it took out two and a half ships and then I repaired, rinse, repeat. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's my thought process on it. I think it's, you know, would I spend a hundred dollars or $200 on Carol by herself? No, but officers, and I repeat this all the time. Officers are the most important thing in this game. Ships are great. 
knowing how to lay out officers is what can make you the best on your server. Even if you're a spender or a non-spender, knowing how to set up your ship is what's going to make you the winner or loser. So that is where a lot of value is. Now, the drawback is that pack doesn't include what you would need to actually upgrade those officers. So like when you start needing Correct. the uh, augment or the independent tokens and the Federation tokens and the Klingon tokens, the, that's something that it doesn't include. But as a mm -hmm. whole, the ability to get Carol, the ability to get Marcus, the ability to get Khan, I think there's some value there. Well, what do you think the actual chances are? Well, I mean, you get 10 pulls, and it's 10 shards at a time. So if nothing else, you're going to get really close. And now that they finally release Carol into the system where you can get her in other ways, you can get her in the loyalty, and then you can also start mm -hmm. working at her in the event store. There's going to be another augment event coming up here in the future. So, you know, they're, they're making it to where when, it, when Carol first came out, we were all saying it's going to take nine months to get her. I mean, even if you bought the pack and didn't get her now, odds are you're going to get her within the next month based on that pool. Just because from an odd standpoint, you're going to get at least 20 or 30 of each of them because you're pulling 10. And then Epic pools have six officers in them, right? Something like that, yeah. So if you're getting 60 shards minimum and – you've got eight different officers. You're going to get half of most of them at the minimum, and you're probably going to get at least one. So those are good odds. I'm going to pull up the ultra recruit right now. So 10 shards, 50-50 uh, chance. So in this case, it would be 100% chance, and that's doing a 10 pull. So that's going to give you 10. So let's say it's built like an ultra recruit. I don't know because I haven't bought it. Anybody out there that wants to throw 100 bucks real quick will buy it right now. Um, but <laughs> Having not bought it, but seeing how the regular Epic Pack is set up, the regular Ultra Recruit, it gives you 10 total shards. So let's say that, so that's 10 pulls. So let's say for every pull, you get a set of 10, which means you would get then 10 times 10. So you're getting 100 shards for the Epic Ultra. I could be wrong on that because I haven't bought it, but just comparing it to how the other one looks, that's what I would say. Yeah. What's your opinion of a smaller pack? Define some of like the twenty dollar packs. Yeah. Which twenty dollar pack are we talking about? Yeah, that's um the new the new um shakedown crew. Okay, so the shakedown crew, I would say no. It's in in the sword. My personal opinion would be no. Uh, Hendroff, Leslie like, it... are both just common officers. For me, the only common officer that's probably worth any money in this game is a couple, but Claw is one of them. Auxiliary crew mm. members are not worth money to me. What not, about Hadley? Not even Hadley. None of them. Okay. Because, I mean, if you just read their bonuses and how they really apply, those are more guys that you're going to sit in your base. And unless you just do a crap ton of base defense. Now, I've have, I actually have Hadley. I don't know remember how I got him, but I have Hadley. I got him at the beginning was, of the game. It was the rent event. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they need to add like officer slots in the base to actually utilize them correctly. 100% agree. And if that was something that they add, then the shakedown crews and the auxiliary actually become pretty valuable. They'd make more sense. But until you can do all of that, it's not really worth it to me. So uh, like, when, when I was surrounded by my enemy team the other day, mm -hmm. I ended up swapping out with my salad and with all auxiliary crew just so for defense, mm -hmm. just so I can take the hits. Because uh, Carol alone takes 50% down when her synergy's up of their power. Mm -hmm. So it helped a lot. I was yeah. thinking if I threw Cross on another, or Cross on another ship, it might have made it feel like a pebble. Well, that's the thing with Carol is, even though I really like Khan and Harrison, I'm really excited about them being paired up. Carol is a great defense against that. Yeah, because so, uh, Khan is a piece of work. I throw him on my uh, Horizons once in a while when I want to one-hit crack bigger bases. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, with Harrison, you know Harrison's only going to give you that big advantage for one round. So you already diminish his power then by 40%. So even if he bypasses his shield with Carol, he's probably not going to one-shot you now. And I think that is just a huge boon 
to a guy who I think everybody has considered overpowered for almost two months now. Harrison is overpowered on a Saladin. But now if you have yeah. Carol, whether it be on your battleship or something like that, you can withstand that initial blow and then go back against it because Harrison is defeating the, the combat triangle. Harrison can go take on uh, explorers and win. But if you've got Carol on your explorer, odds are now that you can mitigate that damage and then take him on and still beat that Saladin. So it's yeah, good but that that's you're all situational. Well, of course, the situation. Well, I mean, it's you know, there's only a handful of people even in the game who have Harrison because you had to be like level thirty to get him when he came out. No, uh, yeah. Not, well, I was able, no, I was able to earn him in that leather ship press event. That was the first uh, part yeah. of this. Yeah, I got him in the first part, and I was nowhere near level thirty. I thought Harrison was level locked was, for either level no, twenty no, or level thirty. No, yeah. you were able to earn him the I first separate press event yeah. of this one. Oh. Which um, I got him back when they first offered the um, the Mayflower, the mm -hmm. Legendary, and the D three mm -hmm. in that first event, and I got through the shot the points. I got Harrison in the event yeah. store, and I regret not getting them. Everyone in this event, keeping your show PG, is not happy that mm -hmm. um, they couldn't get him this time round. <laughs> I was mad. Yeah, I was yeah, expecting I'll, that. Everyone. But I will say this, mm -hmm. you know, and. I've definitely shared my frustrations with Scopely. I will still say I love the game. A lot of that being because of you know people like you, the community, I, and how fun it is. But I love the I love the game. There but are more. I do see this event as it was. Oh, this event is a wash to me. Day, I'll put it that way. Th this event yeah. is a wash to me. And the most frustrating Great. for me as a content creator is they gave me these ships and then didn't even give people the ability to even buy the ship. And then not even Correct. get the ability to get the ship because now I look like a complete Correct. jerk because I'm running around with two 400K shiny legionaries and stuff that people can't even get. And even though, yeah. I'll be honest, the legionary now that I've leveled it up, unless you just want the skin, it's better to get the regular legionary than the hijacked one because it's simply more expensive. The upgrade it's, cost. Uh, because the, uh, of the petroleum. Yeah, the, the plutonium. So the hijacked, I pulled it up and I put this in the new Lacars. So with Hive Mind going down, somebody made a Lacars one and I, I put the information in Lacars, but you know, I have no problem showing it to everybody else. In fact, let me pull up my Discord for because I put these screenshots in Discord. So you I want everybody to see it. And I didn't even see you post on uh, L cars. Yeah. Almost I've been paying attention. Yeah, I put that in L cars. In in one of your previous videos you commented about the um, Romulan research and how it makes your ships cheaper, etc. Mm -hmm. um, I actually calculated that. I did an upgrade. It was a 1.7 million Tritanium upgrade. When I had a look at my what I had in my Tritanium afterwards, mm -hmm. it only cost me just over 1 million Tritanium. Yeah, so I went so in. I, I went I and It works the exact over, same over way. 600, yeah. yeah, it works how Tritanium and Dilithium, uh, pure Tritanium and pure Dilithium work. Correct. So the issue that I have, though, is the description is misleading. And yeah, it the, doesn't tell you about the other resources. Yeah, and the well, cost, though, to get it is you start spending uncommon and common, and it mm. doesn't give you a discount for that. And that's really the bottleneck no. for late 20s. Now, I can go get Tritanium right now. Not a problem. So I don't really need to save on Tritanium as much as I do uncommon and rares. And if I'm going to spend uncommons and rares on the research, then you should give me that as part of the discount. Correct. Well, you got to understand, most of the stuff they say in this, like the description and stuff, are vague. They don't give you the Very. exact details. Yes, and I agree. I'm complaining about it. That's what I'm doing. I'm griping about that, and that's something that I'm pushing to change. And I, hopefully some of these changes that we complain about have changed. It's just the, the pace that it moves is so slow. And by the way, for those still watching the stream, in the background, what you're looking at is the cost of the Hijack Legionary Mark Seven armor. And I want to show you the same thing from a regular legionary and you'll see the price is the exact same even an uncommon in parts and in tritanium except now you have to spend plutonium in addition and then the biggest drawback of all is you start needing rare plutonium at about tier five and you need it almost mm. all in tier six well you can't get that in because that is level locked at level 30 right now correct I heard so, that. so now you can't even get that legionary above about 400,000 until you're level 30 
And you can get your Saladin and Bordas well above that before level 30. So if the, when they do release this pack, I'm going to give them some notes and say, hey, you need to make these type of adjustments to this ship or, or simply not going to have value for people to buy. And I'm okay, not going to lie to you. I, I have an understanding behind that ship because it's technically a free-to-play ship. So they want to make the parts harder for them to earn for the free-to-play players versus the players that actually mm. paid for those parts. Or paid I get for that, ship. But, but in that same regard, though, the Bordas and the Saladin are still free to play ships, and they will be gro- they will be overpoweredly stronger than a hijack yes. ship at the same well, level because it's not capped. Yeah, have we done a, a comparison on a normal legionary at that level with the same upgrades versus one that's a hijacked one? Yeah, to see if there's uh, that, any real difference. That's what I just put up in the background. They're identical. Oh. Mm. The only I, I difference don't. is the plutonium you need. Yeah, so you need plutonium yeah, to upgrade it. it, but there is no stat difference. So these stats are identical between both legionaries. Correct. It just has a different paint job, and it costs plutonium to upgrade. So one thing I will push before the next augment event where these become available again is for them to make some slight adjustments to give people a reason to actually get it because I think that it looks amazing. I would argue that the hijack ships probably look better from a <coughs> skin perspective than anything else in the game. But yes. <laughs> is it really worth spending 200 bucks to get a skin? That's no, a bit I, steep to me. But you can't buy the ship as an outright item. But if you look in the actual shipyard, it says you're supposed to, be able to get the blueprints in the augment store. Yeah. Well, I have a so feeling like after this event, them. they'll be out yeah. in the store. I, I do think that is if, something that will eventually occur. If they're in the store, I'll go to the trouble of getting a D3. Only because I haven't got a Klingon ship yet, and I wouldn't mind having one, even if it just sits in my hangar and looks pretty. It'll be just a pretty item in the hangar there. No, no, I'd get it because I can't normally earn that one because I'm so far down in my faction pool. Yeah, well, I'm, just... dual fac- I'm dual faction Federation Romulan. Yeah, if I knew about uh, that when I started, I would have fixed that oh, right away. I've, I'm at one... stayed, I've stayed dual faction the entire time that I've been playing mm-hmm. on the account that I play on, and I got bagged by so many people and said, oh, you'd be so much further ahead if you didn't do that. And I said, but it has its advantages. Oh, and yeah, it one does. is I can go to Romulan Federation, no troubles at all, and I can get their faction ships. I'm working so far on getting blueprints for both the faction miners for Federation well, and Romulan. Now, I will say I learned Each this. Day, it yeah. is possible for you to go out in high level 30 space and grind for, say, a Bordas, even if you're not a Klingon yes. player and but you still get the Bordas. Though. Yes, you can. You can still build Really? It. Yeah. Mm. I thought it was um, faction I got corrected on that the no, other day. Not. People are grinding for Saladins right now, even though they're not fed rep because it's so right. overpowered. All you got to do is go into like level 33 space, kill level 32 and 33 hostiles. Now, the drop is really rare. So you're going to have to grind Correct. a crap ton to get the parts. Yes. But you can get the 100 Saladin parts without being fed rep and build yeah. a Saladin. <clears throat> it's normally like 1 in 50 to 1 in 100 that drop. Yeah. And even yeah, then, I've, I've got... gone 200 and not gotten a single one. Mm. Yeah. I've said I've got 29 blueprints for the Bortas. I want the Bortas. Yeah, that's my favorite ship in the game. That's the last, it's in my intro yeah. and my outro. I love that thing. Hmm. That way I can basically grandfather out my Legionnaire and have a Tier 2 level um, battleship in my little fleet. Mm. I'd just be happy with the Legionnaire just to get some missions done. Yeah, and uh, You really need to push it up to get it. That's the problem. And I'll yeah. say this too is there's also statistically – from a how their damage output is and their their whole strengths and stuff, tier one and tier two faction ships, there's a big <coughs> gap. Tier twos wreck mm. tier ones of equal strength. Like my legionary at four thirty yep. can go against a bordus at four thirty, and the bordus will take like five percent damage, and it won't even be close. Tier two faction mm. ships have a huge jump on tier ones right now. Yeah, I've got my I've got both a Saladin and a Centurion, and I'm upgrading them equally. But at the moment, I noticed that. At a lower tier, my Centurion's stronger. Mm-hmm. What's well, like my D3? My D3, if my D3 is even with a Klingon ship, it's going to lose against the Bordas, even though it has the battle mm. triangle. And that happened uh, while we were streaming. You saw mm. when I killed my D3, it was going against a Bordas of similar strength, and that Bordas won pretty handily. Let me, I should still have that battle log. Let me pull it up real quick. That I is... just wish the Mayflyer wasn't so gimped. Uh, but that's yeah, the thing is, improve that one. they're all pretty gimpy. So this was my D3. Granted, my D3 was at half health, and it took the Bordas down to 30%, but the Bordas was 15,000 weaker and won. 
I can see why it's the officer set. He is using the morale set. That does help. But that's still something that, even with that, like if I was to go against a legionary, I can knock up a legionary 150,000 stronger even with a morale set. What level is the player you hit on that one? 30. Because it's kind of covered up. And you're 29? 28. Yeah, that could be the the biggest difference because those might be the the Spock with a 400% shield bonus alone. Yeah. It's very possible. But the, the main point is that even with that, though, the battle triangle should still bring it down a little bit more than it is. That's because it's, mm. you were still stronger than that. It's, yeah. And I realize officers, and I preach officers all the time, and I do think that officers, let's see, his is a 100% going by the stat pool here, but I don't know if that is actually an accurate <coughs> read. But it says I don't his stock is correctly. only one hundred percent. But I can't really know for sure without asking him. Well, you can look at the, you go to the battle logs and it should tell you the increase on it. Good point. Let's get it back in that log. Nope, one hundred percent. Oh yeah, That's, so it's accurate. He's got a baby Spock and still beat me, even though I had the advantage when it came to. Uh, and I was actually I, I'm doing a a critical run here, and I'm running with Astaber and Curla. So I'm getting that bonus to armor piercing every single hit, and then I'm getting the bonus to the critical damage with the kinetic set. So over time, that should have eventually beat the borders. It didn't. And I'm not saying that the borders should be bad. I'm simply saying that of equal value ships, I can take on a legionary of that same strength and take almost no damage. I do it to a bordus, and I'll lose with half health. Well, your ship was only already half health, and he was full health, right? Yeah, but like I'm or saying, I, yeah. if that was a legionary, I win. Yeah. And so that's what I'm talking about. There's a gap between tier one faction and tier two faction right now. What I wish about our battle logs, they would elaborate more like how much of it was crit damage, how much mm -hmm. it was this damage, how much it was the whole dam or the whole breach. It needs to be more well explained because we're getting vague like information about it to actually yeah, and figure these officers out right. That's something that me and uh, there's this guy named Greg from Germany and me and him basically every day we change, we exchange battle logs. So we do studies on different officers. And I know it sounds boring to a lot of people, but we just pour through battle logs. And right now he's been doing a study on the actual effects of real mitigation, how much it actually gets to what actually can mitigate, what officers help with mitigation. And there is like a cap on mitigation where 60% seems to be the, you, you can't go any higher than 60, 61 mitigation, no matter what officer setup you have. So that means you're going to take at least 40% damage to shield and hull, no matter Are what. you with a prime mitigation on top of that too? Mm-hmm. Jesus. So now that's, I don't necessarily have a problem with that because there's some officers in this game that if those weren't in, you could get really overpowered really quickly. You know. True. So mm -hmm. it, it's just... The main gripe I have when it comes to officers is that Scopely is making us study and find all this out by ourselves instead of releasing all this information and say, hey, here's how the mechanics of this game works. They're simply, they not even simply, they are directly saying players have to figure out for themselves how it works. And in a way, I'm happy about that because that means I have a channel. Well, that's one of the reasons people come to the YouTube channel is to learn about new mechanics we find out. But it also sucks as players because you'll go 10, 15 levels doing an incorrect mechanic this whole time that could have saved you millions in resources. True that. I wish it would just give us a way to export the battle logs into like an Excel document that has the full breakdown so we can just pour through it. Yeah, just like uh, – because that's something we used to do in Star Trek Online is we would actually pull the parse data of the battle log so that we could study it and do the best builds for a DPS build or if you wanted a tank build. We would actually pull the entire log from the battles and see what did what. But anyway, that's – neither here nor there. Those are things that are so far down the road. We're, we're still working on getting basic things working in the game, let <laughs> alone the very nice features. <laughs> We got a wish. Ooh, I can't believe it's gone. So it's almost 11 p.m. Oh, it is time to, uh, for me anyway, to wrap up. This stream is going almost two hours. It's been a good stream, though. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yes, uh, Todd, Gray, Jason, I see what y'all are saying. Uh, if you do farm the level 22 elites, you can get reload tokens. And every now and then, Horizons will drop. 
the, the real key to getting the best drops is simply attacking about four levels above you. So level 22 elites are essentially level 26 hostiles. If you go and compare them to level 26s in faction space, they're simply just level 26s. It's so like if you are level 28, hitting those 31s and 32s is really going to give you the best drop rates for boxes. And uh, that, that's how you really pay out. So that's what makes the 22 elite so good is they just have a high drop rate. Their ships themselves are not necessarily that great. It's just they have a high drop rate. So the key to high drop rates is simply attacking up four to five levels if you can do that. But for the horizon, you want to go for 32 pluses. That's where your drop rate increases exponentially. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and that's something I've been doing um, lately with um, the D3 and the Legionnaire. Because one thing those two ships are really good at is farming hostiles. I'm only three blueprints off my third horizon. Yeah, I'm probably still like 17 away. On my second, my third. Horizon, so I don't want to hear crap. Y'all need to suck it. Hey, I I, <laughs> I farmed my butt off for that that horizon. I'm 36 um, shards away from my second one. And to make well, hit money, hit uh, uh, hit 32 pluses in ROM space. Yeah. You'll be fine. Well, that's drop what like I, I try to do, but you know, my server is just a very very active raiding and PvP server. I mean, we've compared the numbers to the Founder server, and we've got right about even, and that server's been around for forever. So, yeah, my server's about dead. And our server, I guess we're just really lucky. The, the players are extremely active. I mean, I can go through the Alliance list, and I can go down to alliances that are, like, ranked in the 60s, and I can go find them in space right now. So we have a very active server. Yeah, Texas is a guy I killed tonight. The Texas Alliance, I killed two of their ships tonight, and they're ranked 60 on our server. So, yeah, I mean, they're, they're all over the place. Uh, we're really lucky that our server is so daggum active. And that's also why there's so much stuff. Like, Iron Armada has 10 billion resources rated. 10 bill. 10 bill. And then my alliance that I'm in right now, Red Church, is second with 8.2 billion. The next one is 7 billion. So very, very active raiders. And then Power Destroyed is... They are at 727 million as an alliance and power destroyed. Let me check mine out because my guys thank, are pretty dang high. Thank God, most of my past deal is all in token. Yeah, we okay. Have... My server for resources rated is 12 billion, mm -hmm. and my client or my alliance is 1.3. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, we've got 12 players, I think, that have 1 billion resources rated or more. But the thing that plays into my the top alliance is when someone's about to get raided, mm -hmm. they hold on for 30 minutes and then they boot them and drain them. Ah, well, that's a, it's not a bad tactic, to be honest. No, it's not. Because you can't protect someone for all night or however long it takes them to get back on. No, I mean, it's like, you know, we had an individual here on our server that uh, is having some health issues, and we managed to keep his base safe for like three or four days, and eventually it got drained. I think it got drained last night, uh, I got told. And, you know, real life happens, and it interferes, and you protect it as long as you can, but eventually in this game, somebody's going to raid you. I mean, that's just how it is. Like, today I had a million dilithium sitting out for like 10 minutes, and I was freaking out because I wasn't near my phone, and I knew my shield expired. And I, was, I just I figured I was gone. I figured it was all gone. A million dilithium down the drain because I couldn't get to my shield in time. Luckily, it was not down the drain. But that was my fear. It was my thought process. Yeah, my bubble's almost up 24-7. Yeah, I, I like bubbling, but it's all good. I, don't know. I like my resources, so I can't let them go. All right, so here's what we'll do, everybody who've enjoyed the live stream. First, thanks, everybody, for tuning in the live stream. I think we hit, like, 50 people, and we kind of stayed there, which is awesome, considering I've never done this, and this was the middle of a random night. I do plan on making this a little bit more of an, uh, a common occurrence because, I'll be honest, a lot of the raids and PvPs I do, the footage is extremely time-consuming to edit, and a lot of times I'm not even around to do it. So... I um I might try to do more of that stuff like we did tonight, just fun going out, hitting people with PvP and getting love letters, and then or in the case of tonight, IA coming and camping my base and <laughs> essentially <laughs> taking out all my ships. So, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's I don't care if I die as long as I'm having fun. 
So uh, I had a ton of fun tonight. I appreciate everybody coming and hanging out. And we'll do this a little bit more. We'll actually have uh, some videos dropping tomorrow. Plan on having a video about Claw and the importance of Claw and why he is arguably the most important green officer you have. And you better be upgrading him, especially if you are a pirate. And then we got another podcast coming out this week talking about some of the things upcoming in Star Trek Fleet Command, some of the events upcoming, and then some of the stuff of why we're disappointed with this past event. So appreciate everybody. As always, I'm in the stream, and I will be in my Discord if y'all need me. All right. Bye.